If you like my video, please click like and subscribe. Panko is Japanese breadcrumb that becoming so popular these days. But what is panko? Actually, not many people know about it. Just say Panko is Japanese breadcrumb and it's good. So today, I will explain what panko is and find out how it becomes so crispy in the oil than normal breadcrumb. Okay, to know about panko, we have to know meaning of word. Hey, Yoko. Hi. So what does it mean, the panko? Panko? What is panko? You know, the Japanese breadcrumb? Ah, it is panko, no, panko. Okay. Panko means breadcrumb in Japan. Pan means bread and ko means powder or crumb. Okay. So if someone say, I use panko, ah, sorry, panko instead of breadcrumb, that means I use breadcrumb instead of breadcrumb, right? Yes. Interesting. So if panko means just breadcrumb, why are we crazy about this breadcrumb? Or is it really special? I think it is really important to talk about bread itself first. What kind of bread does Japanese use for panko? According to my research, in Japan, the bread for panko is made with special baking skill using electric current passing through the dough. Which means there's no or low heat during baking processing. I think quite similar to microwave. Microwave heat up the food, but there's no fire, right? And as a result, we get no crust bread. Look like this or this, called shokupan. But why Japanese create this kind of bread look like tofu? The answer is in the history of it. So when do you think that panko was created? Or how long history does a panko actually have? Hundred or thousand? The answer is it was created during World War II. Oh, did you think panko has a long history? Come on! Japan is an Asian country. We eat steamed rice, and bread is Western food. Of course, it doesn't have that long history. So guess how long history does tonkatsu or chicken katsu has? Not that long. By the way, back to story. When Japan fought against the Russia during the war, Japanese soldiers tried to make some food using flour when they are moving. Then they decided to bake the bread using battery from the tank. So it was not invented in the kitchen by chef, but in the battlefield by soldier. Interesting. So next time when you go to holiday and driving, you can bake the bread in your car. But what is so special about that crustless Japanese bread? Well, the thing is, for normal baking in the oven, it goes from outside to inside. But electrical current baking, cooking everywhere same time, inside and outside. So we can get same texture every part of it. And this is a really important point. Cause normal bread has different texture, like inside has more soft and airy texture, but outside has more fine and heavier texture. So if you dry out the normal bread and grind, the outside part in the crumb becomes so dry and hot after deep fried. But if we use the bread has same texture everywhere, we can get same quality of bread crumb cause there's no inside and outside. What honest bread, inside and outside same. <coughs> now next step, crumb. According to my ex Japanese head chef, the real panko shouldn't be ground. It should be torn off. If you look at the inside bread, we can see the texture like spider web or mesh produced by gluten. And to make nice panko, it is really important to keep the shape. So one time when I was working at the Japanese kitchen, I had to tear off the whole sandwich bread. Of course, no crust because it ran out of the panko during the weekend. I spent the whole my lunch break just to do that. But result was great. Every particle of panko has a long shape with pointy end. Beautiful white color looks alive. It's alive! Usually in western kitchen, chef dry out the bread and grind using food processor like normal bread crumb. But for dry panko, it's opposite way. Tear off and dry. We can use microwave or dry out on the pan. So we learn how to make bread crumb or panko. Now I want to talk about different type of panko. Dry, soft and fresh. But we don't use soft panko much. And also how to find in western country. Let's just talk about dry and fresh one. AKA nama panko. So what is fresh or nama panko? It's simply breadcrumb hasn't been dried out. But what's the fresh panko is for and why? Actually, good Japanese restaurant using fresh panko more than dry one. Cause it has better results for deep frying. Okay, I prepared some experiment here. Today, we're gonna cook chicken katsu using two different panko. Dry and fresh. Now, 
Now, two different types of kachu are ready. Let's compare. This side is using dry panko, and this side is using fresh panko. Okay, both sides are really good, but I can feel that this side kachu using fresh panko has lighter and crisp texture. But why? The first reason is size of particle. So even using the same bread, while the crumb is drying out, the size got smaller of course, while the moisture evaporating. So fresh one has bigger size particle. Second, moist. Okay, what is deep frying? And how food become crisp crunchy in the oil? Deep frying is the food being cooked by heat from the hot oil. And while it's being cooked, the moisture at the surface evaporates and sucking hot oil. And of course, become crunch when dry out. So simple. But moisture makes deep fry wet and soggy. Yes, that's true. But we are talking about the level of moisture the food originally have, not extra water. So if it is the most one for the cooking, of course, it takes a little bit longer. Maybe too difficult to understand. Simply, for example, we may have experienced that the fabric from the dryer or dry out outside in really hot summer become kind of crispy, like Danny pants become hot like soft wood. But if we put the already dried fabric in the dryer or hanging in the hot weather, does not happen much because it's already dry. The moisture evaporates so fast in hot temperature, like deep frying, it makes surface harder, crispier, and cruncher. So today, we learn about panko, what it is, how it's created, and why it's good. Thank you for watching guys, I'm Chef Ku Choice, and I will be back with more interesting Asian food topic. And don't forget to watch my reaction video too. If you like my video, please click like and subscribe. Thank you!